So, Brian, can you tell me mm -hmm. what symptoms you had before spine surgery? Losing um, a uh, ability to uh, stand up uh, properly. Yes. I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, um, I had to roll over on my bed in order to gain f uh, uh, stability. Okay. So definitely a feeling of being paralyzed because um, absolutely no feeling, no sensation um, in, in the thighs, in the, in the legs, the extremities were just, uh, just terrible on both sides too. So um, not a power leg, not, not getting into a stance, literally just having to be pulled up from a walker. Um, couldn't uh, dorsiflex mm -hmm. at, at all. It was like I had cinder blocks on my feet. That had to be scary. It's scary because you never think, am I ever going to regain function ever again? And then once you, you met Dr. Smith mm -hmm. at the office, um, and what was your impression um, the first visit? I saw a doctor that was full of energy, that really cared about, <laughs> about the patient, um, really tried to analyze uh, everything from the details on the, the MRI to okay. um, kind of like my pain levels and okay. Um, you know, I, I taken my parents with me too. They were very, very concerned and, um, was just, uh, uh, needed kind of that positivity to say, Hey, you know, every, I'm going to be in good hands because, uh, you never expect at a young age to, you know, be in a, in a spine office, you okay. know, so. Uh, would you mind saying your age? I am currently 29. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you were dealing this with your, in your late twenties, yes, uh, which is mm -hmm. very, very young. Did he put you at ease? when he explained everything to you and what it is that needed to be done? Yes, I, I think that uh, for um, kind of understanding how long that the process is gonna be and what kind of recovery, uh, most definitely. Once you got into surgery, how was that day? Were you scared? I would say I didn't sleep well the night before because I was I just had a lot of things that were running through my mind. And um, I've been fortunately been healthy, never, never really had to have yes. a hospital stay. Um, I said a couple of prayers and then um, was reassured that morning through everyone that was involved. And um, I finally just said, hey, you know, I've come to this point um, and had proceeded with um, um, just lying back and falling asleep and saying, what will be, will be, so. It's in God's hands. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, so you wake up. How mm -hmm. was it? I was uh, able to move my feet a lot, a lot better. I had... Um, right after surgery? Right after surgery, had gotten up and stood up fine. Uh, it was as if I had uh, been given a new body without actually leaving my own body. So as, as really? silly as it right sounds. Really? Right after surgery? Right after surgery, yes. Got wow. up, we, we walked down the hall together. I think I was just more of like tears of joy because you're thinking, well, you know, for a month I've been unable to you know, freely do anything I want to do. And now I can um, uh, have the reassurance that, hey, that there is uh, a light at the end of the tunnel. Correct. Mm -hmm. Attitude. So, okay, let's go back to recovery. So, the, you felt that right after surgery. Mm -hmm. um, painful? It was painful only in the, um, I think the the body getting used to that uh, that implant that 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 part of it. Okay. It wasn't painful in uh, nothing that couldn't be controlled by by pain relievers. I actually okay. leaned off pain relievers after about. A week or two. So, so that was it. Mm -hmm. So a week or two. Because you know what they say about back surgery, you're out for months mm -hmm. and you can't live your life for months. But mm -hmm. this was not at all no. your experience. The incisions were great. Um, jumped into physical therapy at the office, not here okay. at the house anymore, but at the office by week three. Okay. Um, and was at home sleeping again on my own bed. Um, did that I, feel great? It felt awesome to be able, I'm a movie goer and I did go see a movie by the end of week three. Yay. I was so, so <laughs> happy to be able to not have to stay at home and be bound by, you know, just the TV. It was good to get out and, okay. you know, I eventually drove and um, 
a month later, we're in Alaska on vacation. So a month after your spine surgery, you're in Alaska. Her. Yes. What did you do in Alaska? We went on a cruise and had uh, gone out on um, a train ride of the Gold Rush. We okay. had uh, seen uh, the Victorian castles. Able to walk up all throughout the castle. Um, <laughs> we had seen Glacier Bay. Um, so there wasn't. I didn't go there in a in, with a cane or a wheelchair or anything. I was cleared to. So if I'm standing next to you mm -hmm. in Alaska, I would not have known you just had spine surgery a month ago. Correct. Nothing in the pictures would indicate that. I was total smiles and happy to be with my family. And I think awesome. that was the, the the highlight of the trip. So I um, I wear my Alaskan ring every day as a kind of a moment momentum as far as hey anything's possible. So I mean, come on now. Mm -hmm. And then. Attitude-wise, were you in a bad mood before surgery? And are you a much happier person after surgery? Most, most definitely. I was, <laughs> I will tell you, I had just um, nights of just waking up with pain and agony. Um, it was taking me an hour just to get ready in the morning. You were angry. And I was very frustrated with how would I let myself get to this point, but also it, it didn't really make sense at the time why that uh, it had escalated to this point um, and I almost wish that I had uh, even gotten it done sooner because um, you know getting different uh, uh, opinions from other doctors and things like that uh, there wasn't anything that was going to be as reactive or proactive to get this okay. done so so you're glad you met Dr. Smith most definitely yes awesome. I gave him a five-star refuse around <laughs> On, on every we every greatly decade. appreciate it I, we are very very a, grateful for that def definitely a lifesaver and Thank you. Um, recommend him really to anyone so. i have to say that um being at spine center all these years i think that what has what has made me the happiest is is i see the before mm -hmm. uh, both women and men you know they come in angry they come in frustrated mm -hmm. they come in in tears we've had sons carrying in their fathers because they have no feeling in the in their legs mm -hmm. and then seeing the afters yes um I have you guys come in motion. with big huge smiles <laughs> uh you cut you guys come in asking the girls or our staff hey how are you guys doing mm -hmm. and and then they come in to the back and say have you seen mr clevenger mm -hmm. he's in such a great mood he's the nicest guy <laughs> um i again it's mm -hmm. it's a pleasure and and i love and thank you so much for allowing us to hear this from you. Um, My pleasure, yes. Because I hope that anybody who sees this, is mm -hmm. anybody that is going through what you're going through, mm -hmm. um, will we'll see this and then say, you know what, if they did it, and you had second opinions and you had your family with you, but if you did it, and thank the Lord um, and Dr. Smith that everything has come out okay, then we can do it too. True. Um, and you think, wow, that was just a little minimal, little incision. It wasn't, we didn't slice half of me or no, anything. No. Um, you know, that's the, that's the biggest thing. And um, I've had friends that have gone for their cervicals and things that mm -hmm. have given me a lot of great, great feedback. So um, most definitely, I think that uh, you, you can't be scared of um, something that is going to reap the benefits for the rest of your life, really. So Awesome. And again, love the story of Alaska. A month after spinal <laughs> surgery, you're in Alaska.